morning guys it's another day and i'm feeling really good so i woke up this morning and decided to go on an early run and i think i went out for my run about 10 to 9 or something this morning so got up at half six had my coffee had some french toast that sam lovingly made me he actually bought me coffee in bed which was really nice this morning okay camera's just died again so back to phone but i feel really good i did half an hour i ran through the park near our house and like out the other side I actually ended up running nearly to my sister's house which is quite funny and she's now on a run basically doing the same but towards ours so we're running back and forth to each other's houses but I feel really really good I feel really positive I feel really awake and just feel good to have the workout for the day like done and out of the way and had some fresh air and I just feel good so I'm about to pop on my makeup and then Sam and I are going to get a few pictures done this morning in the house and then I think I'm going to spend the afternoon editing Instagrams and getting all my Instagram stuff like scheduled and ready to go and that kind of thing because there's a lot of stuff to do but I think by this point I probably have decided but I'm in two minds about whether to keep the weekly vlogs as weeklies or whether to keep them as like one day or two days because I've realised I'm filming quite a lot some days and not much on other days so I don't know whether to just do like daily vlogs almost um we'll see whether or not I've done it you'll know by the time I put this video live because it would have happened before or during or something so I don't know we'll see we'll see but my eyelash situation is getting a bit dire I basically I don't know if you can really see but some of the ones that I put on the other day have actually started to fall out um like that one's just pinged off but this eye's fine it's just always this eye so I'm going to try and give that a bit more of an infill later and just put like another one back there and like one here and then hopefully they should be all right because they're lasting well it's just this one's a little bit more patchy which is fine doesn't really matter too much um I'm just not quite ready to lose them yet so <laughs> I'm trying to desperately hold on but I'm gonna do my makeup Okay, here we have Friday's outfit. My hair is questionable right now. It's like half curled and I don't really know why it's done it, but it's like weirdly curled. But Sam and I are taking pictures today and I've decided to go for this as my first picture outfit slash general just outfit of the day. So I'm wearing the chunky cardigan from Misguided. This is actually sold out in this colour, but they still have a couple of others and similar styles, so I'll link them. This is a bodysuit from Abercrombie and these are, I believe, from misguided or something similar i'll find them and link them for you and then obviously my little slippers there so very very cozy and very comfy outfit but this is gonna be my first outfit for a picture because keeping it real life i am literally stood in my pajamas all day so everything's gonna reflect that <laughs> So, it's a little while later and I have been taking some pictures in here. Sam's been taking some pictures in the bedroom and we've just been trying to be quite productive and get some bits done. And then basically my task for the afternoon is to just sit and get some pictures edited because I've got so many backed up that just need editing. Um, and my hair is doing this weird flicky thing today where it like just doesn't look right. It looks like one side is considerably longer than the other and it's really bugging me. But it's not, it's just for some reason the way that it's curled and it's just yeah it's bugging me so i've done the pictures i need to do now i'm gonna sit down with a coffee and my laptop and edit wow that's quite the look at my hair it's actually gone like <laughs> six hours later what are we doing sam building a den <laughs> we are we are building a den in the oh no the washing's just finished we need to hang it out in the washing line we're about to use no 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 den. we can wedge <laughs> okay um next we've got chairs we can yeah fine we'll use one of those and then we'll use one and we'll make something yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and build a fort around the tv somehow so that we can still watch tv from our fort and we're gonna like put all the sofa cushions and stuff on the floor and just make it really super cozy so we need to kind of work out how we're best going to do this because I think we're going to have to move that and push this over. No, I'll go get the. the okay. We've got all the sheets. So this is three lots of. Three or two. I don't know how many I actually grabbed. I think it's two. There's another one under the bed anyway. So we've got some sheets to put over. And I think we're going to have to do some kind of something from there or like from the window down or something. I don't really know. But we're going to build a little den. Because 
Okay, the fort is built. <laughs> it is literally huge. I don't think you can quite get the scale of this on a clip. It is massive. So our TV is hidden under there and we basically got a double bed in there. And then when you come around the sofa, this is gonna take so long to get apart tomorrow. We've got some wine. And then when you crawl in, we've got our pillows and stuff and like a little blanket. Got another blanket there, we've got our snacks and then we've got the TV obviously up there so that we can sit and have a little movie night which is going to be very, very cute. I actually love it. I think it's so, so, so cute. <laughs> in you get. <laughs> Good morning guys. So as you can tell, we're starting today's video a little bit differently. We're about to deep clean the house for one of the first times in a while. So obviously we've cleaned and like kept on top of things, but we're gonna like really deep clean. So we're gonna clean all the grout in the bathroom tiles. We're gonna clean all the windows upstairs. Like we're gonna really deep clean the whole house. So I decided that it was probably a good time to pop on a hair mask and thought I would show you what I put on and how I do it because I share this all the time on my Instagram but I don't really tend to share it on my YouTube and I do get a lot of questions on here about hair care and stuff okay so first things first just brushing it I always put my hair masks onto dry hair so as you can see it's quite greasy at the moment but dry nonetheless because when it's dry the hair mask has more chance to like get the hair apparently so I'm just gonna take these rings off actually put them in my dressing gown but I normally try and leave it on kind of overnight or if not overnight then at least like throughout the day so my plan is today to just leave it on for as long as possible while we're cleaning and then later on I'll just wash my hair like normal but it just gives the mask a chance to like really sink in and start working so the mask I'm going to go in with today is this Bondi Boost Miracle Hair Mask which I use a lot and then also the Olaplex number no. three which is one of my holy grail products and I'll leave a link down below because I actually get it off Amazon for considerably cheaper than you get it in the salon. I think it's like 25 pounds as opposed to like 38 or something. But I take quite a lot, so I do use a lot of hair mask. And I basically just smother it into my hair like so. And basically just like try and work it through a little bit, which is why you obviously need to brush it first because then you can actually get your fingers through a little bit more. Then I'm just going to brush it through, make sure it's got everything. Helps to spread the product a bit, you know, get all that goodness around. I'm so on it with hair care, like I literally look after my hair so much. Like I am now the queen of hair products and like all that kind of stuff. I actually did put a video on my IGTV, which I will leave a link to if I can, or if not, I'll just head to my Instagram and just talked about like products and stuff that are really helping me out with growing my hair and getting its condition like back to being amazing because obviously bleach does slightly damage your hair so this is just at the moment the um bondi boost miracle mask and then i basically pop olaplex on over the top i need a bit more on this side actually this side's still quite dry i literally must go through like a tub every three weeks i swear but to be fair I have quite a lot of hair so I need to because it's quite like it's not it looks thick but it's not thick it's just there's a lot of fine hair which is a nightmare to do anything to in the salon because it just takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours okay I think that's covered now so we're gonna pop this one back in the cupboard I've barely got anything left so that'll probably do like another half a mask and I'll just blend it in with the next one that I start using um, so now we're gonna go in with the Olaplex which it's a very small bottle, but like that has been two lots of use. So I'd say this probably lasts me about a month, a month and a half. And it's just so good. It's honestly like one of the best products in the world for hair. I'm just gonna try and kind of massage this through a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I get the back of my hair because it feels like it's still a little bit dry where I focus on the front a bit more. But... So now all that product is in, it's all in my fingers. <laughs> Okay, now all that's in, I'm just going to brush it through one last time and then pop it on top of my head and just leave it in a bun for the entire day. It smells really nice. It does, doesn't it? That's what the Olaplex. Um, I used the, this one, mm, and then really I used good. Olaplex, but it's Olaplex, it smells good. It smells nice. Right, let's put it in a bun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. I've been up for quite a while as you can probably tell. We woke up at about half six and today is daylight saving so it's actually half five. Um, 
but wow that's bright the sun is shining so we kind of sat and watched a few vlogs and stuff this morning i can't stand there that's too bright we watched a couple of vlogs and stuff this morning and i've already had a shower washed my hair done my makeup and i'm just making a cup of tea before i go and sit upstairs and do some editing because it might be a sunday but i feel like editing a video today and i think if i'm in the mood i might as well do it also noticed this is a kind of a random waffly clip my skin is getting so bad like my forehead i've never had so many spots and i don't really know why i'm getting them i think forehead is stress isn't it or is it hormones i don't really know but i haven't had spots in so 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 long apart from like the odd one on my chin when i come on my period or something and i'm getting really spotty again and i don't know what it is and you i don't know if you can even see but like my forehead i've got like a few here i've got a couple here and I don't know where they've come from, but they're really annoying me. And it's not makeup or hair, because I take my makeup off every day in the same way. And, like, I've been doing my hair either up on top of my head or, like, out the way. So I don't really know what it is, but I think it might potentially be because I stopped taking my skin supplements. So I have some skin supplements that I take every day from Acumax. And, oh, I don't know where they are. So they're, like, these ones, but I have ones that are specifically for skin. And I think that I've run out. I think I've got like five left and I haven't really been taking them as regularly so maybe that's what it is but I don't know we're gonna try and sort it out and give it some wow that is off the table that light is coming off the table like <laughs> blinded um yeah I think it's just from that so I'm gonna try and give my skincare an overhaul and really look after it and see if I can make it better but I'm gonna grab my cup of tea now and head upstairs I think because that was a really random waffly morning clip for you talked about 60 different things in two minutes but welcome to sunday um i wanted to quickly hang on let me just sign into my computer i wanted to quickly mention something that i have been buying and like getting together so obviously a lot of people are now at home if you haven't already seen it i put a video up of things to do when you are stuck in self-isolation or just at home for a prolonged period of time so whether that's because you've just had a baby or whether that's because you have been in hospital obviously after all this is over <clears throat> or even just when you've got a weekend where you're just not doing anything and i kind of started to think about things that i really enjoy doing and things that i find relax me or that i can just do in my spare time that i like pleasure activities as opposed to like working or cleaning or something like that so things that i do that make me feel good and a kind of like a self-care without being like a bath or meditation or yoga or something like that so the things that i came up with that i really enjoyed doing was my cross stitch which obviously i have downstairs i sit and do that when we're watching tv in the evening sometimes um sam and i have actually bought two puzzles so we bought a disney one what even did we buy i think it's an aladdin one do you know what i can't even remember we bought one on uh, basically ugh, let me have a little look on my phone because um where obviously everyone's at home at the moment the amazon orders were just going crazy so like things we were ordering just weren't like they were saying they weren't going to turn up till like may so obviously me and sam were like okay that's a bit much because obviously by the time we get to may hopefully this is nearly over um but we want something to do right now so we ordered a couple of different puzzles and then when the delivery times came through we just cancelled like the ones that were too far away so we ordered this one which if you saw my vlogs a few weeks ago i'll leave them linked down below sam and i did a giant peter pan puzzle at my parents house and it was one of the collector's ones so we bought the aladdin version of the collection as well so i think it works out that there's like six that go together into like one giant puzzle like they don't all slot together but like it <sighs> I'll put a picture on screen here of what I mean. It basically is six puzzles that are like part of a giant collector's thing or something along those lines. So we bought the Aladdin one <clears throat> and we're going to do that. And then we also bought this really cool one that looks like this from a place called Utility, which I've never heard of. But um, they basically sell like puzzles and random bits and pieces. And I really recommend because they're still delivering next day. So very, very, very highly recommend them. And they were really quick and easy to deal with. So we bought the hot dog one from them, which is really cute. So... We obviously are going to be doing some puzzles and stuff the cross stitching we've got sam's been doing loads of like sudoku and stuff on his phone which he really enjoys and then i was thinking i really miss <laughs> if you are og which i know some of you are because whenever i ask on like instagram or something how long you follow me there's a surprising amount of you that still watch these vlogs that watched me in uni which i find absolutely ridiculous because it's so long ago and i feel like i'm just such a different person now but a lot of you remember me being at uni and at uni i studied fashion design and i really 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 loved doing all the like illustration -y side of things i love drawing i love just feeling like i can just be free with my hand does that even make sense like that sounds a bit like a innuendo but 
I just like the fluidity of like drawing and painting and like just moving freely with my hands and just like letting my thoughts just like flow out onto a page kind of thing. So what I did do was I picked up a few packs of pens. So I bought this little calligraphy pen set, which I'm not planning on necessarily doing calligraphy with it, but I thought they're kind of different thicknesses. And obviously with calligraphy pens, like as you draw, the like brush strokes change and stuff. So I thought if I'm drawing like a continuous line drawing or something, then that could be quite cool. And I think they were like six pounds or something for a pack of um, six of them, all in different thicknesses. And then I also picked up this pack, which is a pack of pens. So you've got, as you can see, quite a few black ones, but then you've also got these color ones and they're all three millimeter, um, just ultra fine tip pens. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get back into drawing and whatever kind of drawing that is, I don't know. I might see if there's any like online, like live drawing classes or anything, or like any, ones to teach how to draw like Disney characters or whatever it might be and that can just be something that I do in the evenings or during the day when I don't want to work and I just want a bit of time out um so I'm just waiting for the sketch pads to turn up and obviously the puzzles to turn up and then yeah we're gonna get on with a lot of bits and pieces like that which is gonna be good fun but for now I need to rework my calendar because I scheduled in Disney in May and let's be honest it ain't happening <laughs> I've been joined in the office by a little Sam Gray. <laughs> He's got his headphones in because whenever we're up here together, we end up having like dance parties by accident across the desk. So Sam's got his headphones in. I'm about to put mine in and crack on with editing a video. So I've actually just edited a loungewear um, lookbook, which is going on my IGTV. So you've probably seen it by now. And I'm about to sit and do the vlog. So as I mentioned the other day, I'm gonna be kind of separating the weekly vlog into like, specific day ones so there's gonna be like the monday to wednesday and then like wednesday to sunday kind of vibe because i think it's just so much easier than posting weeklies because i think you guys prefer the vlogs sometimes and there's only so much i can realistically find to do for an everyday video so there's gonna be a few more vlogs pinging up so i'm thinking they're gonna be live on like wednesdays and sundays so i hope you enjoy that i hope you've already enjoyed what i've been putting up um the first week in isolation has just gone up and i've had quite a few messages saying that you're really enjoying it and that it's nice to have a little bit of like normality even though obviously the vlog is us in isolation and stuff everyone's saying that it's nice to have a little bit of change so that's really positive um i'm currently drinking peppermint tea and considering going and making some brunch because i haven't eaten yet and it's 11 so i'm thinking of making like maybe scrambled egg on toast with some sausages or something because we have them in the freezer but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna make have we got beans left? No. Oh, do you want scrambled egg and beans on toast? What do you fancy? Beans and sausages on toast? Huh? Beans and sausages on toast? No, the sausages are frozen. Mm. What do you fancy? I could have had sausages. Shall I get some out now? Because then they'll be a bit defrosted. So I'd say chicken nuggets for you currently have chicken know. nuggets, beans on toast. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really that hungry. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I had cereal earlier on. True, I haven't. And I said that will correspond. Okay. Let's just sort out our Disney it so long. Yeah, we're going to be sorting Disney today, so that's going to be coming up later in the vlog. So stay tuned if you want to know about Disney. Um, I'll also leave a time card down below because I'm sure some of you just want to know the Disney stuff. So I'll leave that down below. But we're changing Disney. Um, but to, the plan of action for today is to sort our Disney trip out because we're meant to be going six weeks. It's not going to be six weeks. Like they're now not taking bookings until the 1st of June even though they haven't officially said that they're closed until then but I think just just to save the drama though I guess because like yeah. if people start booking and then they have to postpone even more trips and it's even more for them to sort out plus like, like I've so looked so at later on in the year because we don't really want to spend any more money on it because we've already spent quite a lot and everything's getting booked up obviously where everyone else is moving their trips to later in the year we're, get, we're not going to have any options so I think we're just going to do it yes we'll still get if, even even if it is open in May we'll still get to go it's not like we can't go again so i'd rather Wait, be what? i said that even if it is open in may and we've like cancelled or moved it and it's annoying that they might reopen in may but at least well, I see what you're saying. at least we get to go in the future but also like i'd rather move it like you say I'd, like as much as it could potentially be open i'd rather move it yeah. and be able to have like a good experience than move it and be stuck with only expensive hotels or have to move it for like even further in the future we kindly ask for your patience at this time if you have a Walt Disney World Resort ticket only booking, your tickets can be used up to 31st December 2020. If you would like to change your tickets for use in 2021, 
So our friends Luke and Zara just rung our doorbell and dropped off a really cute little delivery. So they obviously can't see us at the moment, but they made some little cakes and dropped them around to our house, which is really, really cute. So thank you very, very much, guys. We are very appreciative and we're about to have them now. How cute. So these are little carrot cakes, I think they said. So adorable. And some whiskey. Good evening, guys. I feel like an extra out of grease with this hair tie in. You don't look like one. Oh, funny. <laughs> so we wanted to sit down and touch base on our Disney trip because I've had a couple of people ask about what we're doing and whether we're keeping our trip in May or moving it or waiting till the last minute or what we're doing. So we thought we'd sit down and discuss because obviously, as you saw earlier, Sam called Disney and had a little chat. So do you want to explain what we've done or do you want me to? Okay, so the camera decides we're on the phone, but do you want to explain what we've done? So you called Disney. So called Disney and beforehand I did go on the website to have a look at rough pricings because where we've already spent a lot of money I didn't want to be like okay we'll move it to another time of year and end up spending a lot more. So I had a little look at flights as well because obviously we've got to factor that in because certain times of the year are a lot more expensive. Yeah. But we managed to get a voucher for our BA flight so that completely cancelled and we haven't booked flights yet but we basically have a voucher to put towards them yeah we just have to wait seven days for the voucher to come through and then basically you can use it to book another ba flight which is really really handy mm -hmm. apologies about my camera skills i'm literally struggling to keep my arm literally. up and then i called disney and they're really really helpful luckily i said i want to go on this date in september to this hotel so we're now going to be staying in the art of animation in the little resort, mermaid room in the little mermaid room because <laughs> that's all there was left to be fair yeah and basically the room's there um all of the other ones are family suites so unless you want a family suite the only ones in that resort are little mermaid rooms yeah. which is fine um and then we're staying in we're going in september yeah so we're going basically i mean give or take one or two days the exact same dates as we went mm. last year so we know the kind of temperature we know the time of year we're going we know the things that are going to be on um sam's already started looking at reservations and some of the hotels not hotels some of the restaurants, restaurants are already booked up so the last day you can have book dining for is our last day there. So over time, people will cancel and yeah. amend and other things will come up or we'll see. But hopefully we can but, go. Yeah. If not, it may just be us going there and as a walk up and trying to get a table. Yeah. Um, apologies, my camera skills are so bad in this. But basically, we didn't do anything until now because obviously originally the parks were only shut for two weeks. So we kind of held out hope that mm -hmm. we'd be able to go and... As time's gone on and Disney have kind of announced more and more things, we made the decision to just move it because, granted, we could still potentially go in May and it would be fine, but we didn't want to risk getting to the last minute and then we lose our... Um, what's it called? We just don't want to lose the chance I know what I'm of, saying, but like, my mind's not blind. We just lose the chance of going because where everything is getting booked up because everyone is amending their trips and changing it to later on in the year, like, we want to still be able to go. So if yeah. we hadn't cancelled now, if we'd left it until, say, May, May when we were meant to have gone... It may have meant that we couldn't go later on this year because everything was booked, if you get me. So we've we've just made the choice to cancel it, amend yeah. it, move it further on. That way we can still definitely go and have a nice time in Disney. Yeah. Um, the only thing we haven't yet done is... Sorry, this is so shaky. Um, the only thing we haven't yet done is rebook flights because, like Sam said, we're waiting for the vouchers to come in. Um, however, we did have a look and... Did you look at Premium Economy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was coming up at like £990 as opposed to... I think we paid three... No, 700 and something before, didn't we? 700 and... I can't remember how much it was, but yeah. But that was with a few air miles, um, just like Avios points. So yeah. It might, we'll see. We might yeah. be able to figure something hopefully out. Hopefully it should be okay. So we need to book that. But hopefully over time, when they kind of know what's going on, the mm. flight prices will go back down. Because I think when we kind of have a more set in stone finish for this... Well, not finish, but like when we kind of know what's happening, whether it's going to be still continuing, then I think prices will go down. So hopefully but i wanted to talk about it because i keep getting messages asking what we're doing or people going at a similar time um there's a lot of people that were meant to be going in may so mm. i think if you are going to change it like sam said change it now because everything is being booked up um obviously everyone who's had trips planned has more than likely postponed rather than cancelled so there's going to be like double the amount of people looking for the same weeks that there is in the future so yeah we didn't want to end up going next year instead of this year we wanted to make sure we went this year but it means that we might be able to go to Mickey's Not So Scary this time. Yeah, because we didn't do that um, last time. And yeah. hopefully, well, not hopefully, but the Ratatouille ride will be open. Yeah. Because that's my favourite Disney film. And I really wanted to go on that because I love it in Paris. So we'll get to do that. 
Um, there's loads of new restaurants opening, so yeah. hopefully we can book into those. Also, um, Rise of the Resistance and the Mini Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway thing should both be a lot easier to get fast passes for because they'll have been open for a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, obviously no one knows what's happening at the moment. Disney have closed things up until like June, so we're kind of thinking that more than likely it's going to be like a summer opening again. But Yeah, so- they've said they've closed it until further notice, but in America... Um, apparently you can't book any dining or reservations until the 1st of June yeah. even though they've unofficially said that's when they're thinking um, that's just when you can make things from so that's a good like marker to kind of yeah. gauge things off yeah. I guess for now anyway we know it's probably not going to be before then yeah but yeah we wanted to address it and we're now about to make dinner so on with the vlog <laughs> Bye. hopefully the Disney clip wasn't too shaky for you guys I hope it was alright and you didn't get really annoyed by the shaking. So yeah, we're about to make some dinner and Sam really wanted McDonald's and I saw someone's story who lives in Amsterdam and she had McDonald's. Um, so we decided that we're just gonna make burgers ourselves at home because we have mints and onions and stuff. So Sam's just currently frying some bits up and we're gonna try and make some ourselves. And we don't have buns, so we're gonna go with bagels, but fingers crossed, they work. <laughs> We've also just had a house party chat with all of Sam's family. So last night we spoke with all of my like my dad, my stepmom, my sisters and their boyfriends and my brother um, whose fiance was asleep because she wasn't feeling very well, bless her. So we had a nice big chat and then we had Sam's family stay. It's really nice, isn't it? Just having a group family group Let's chat. Let's all catch up. We had Sam's grandparents both in the house party app but they were on different phones in the same house because they both wanted to join in on their own, which is really funny. So yeah, it's really, really nice to catch up with them. Um, also had a chat with my mum, Sam's sister. Had a few little conversations, but it's been really nice. So yeah. Dinner is now happening. Oh my God, how good does this look? Thank you so much, Sam, it looks amazing. Okay, I'm making a hot chocolate and I have like the best hot chocolate stuff ever. Hi guys, welcome to the crib. It's me, Sam Gristall, in a dressing gown and nothing else. How scandalous. Okay, so slight dilemma. The camera was just propped up. I don't know what that last clip looked like, but it was probably quite amusing. Um, get up dressing gown shot. You might feel like <laughs> you get to see some lovely parts of the anatomy. <laughs> It's like a sex head lesson at the same time. Um, the camera was basically stood on here and Sam opened the cupboard before he realised the camera was there and sent it flying. And it like bounced off the floor and stuff. So I, it, yeah, it wouldn't work for a minute, but it's now working. So as I was saying before it went a bit catastrophically wrong, I'm about to make some hot chocolate with this um, hotel chocolate, milky hot chocolate. Did you give me this? No, I got this in a goodie bag or something, didn't I? I, can't, bought, I don't really know where it came from. No, I didn't. I got it in a bag. Or it was you, gifted by I somebody. I thought you bought that. No, it was gifted um, It came with Ted Baker. Yeah, so it came with Ted Baker in like a pampering thing. And it's basically the hotel chocolate, um, milky hot chocolate. And Sam's having a whiskey, as he's showing you. It's a shoe-shaped one that Luke and Zara gave us earlier. How cool, right? It's like a little Really cool. Bit. Not that you play football. Bit, Have you ever played football? Have you ever school. been in like a minor league team or anything? I mean, as I'm saying that, I'm realising how ridiculous it is to say if you've been in a football team when you're a dancer. But even so, um, I'm about to make this. And basically, you put the little, like, chocolate bits. So it's like... I don't know how to best show you this. So it's like the little chocolate flakes. And then you put them into a saucepan. And when you've got it in the saucepan, you just mix it. Maybe this is a better place to put you. You just put some milk in and then you keep stirring until it, like, turns into, like, basically milk chocolate. I'm gonna use some oat milk because Sam doesn't like oat milk and I love it. Tastes like drinking porridge. What do you think? Yeah, that's why I don't like it. It just tastes like drinking oats. Which I know sounds stupid, but it. I haven't measured this, but I'm just gonna drink a whole lot. Yeah, so you literally just do that. And then it says on here to put six heaped teaspoons with 220 millilitres of milk. How much milk do you think that is? That's a lot. That's about right, when I made it before, it's about cups. Well, do you know what? If it's a bit more chocolatey, then it's a bit more chocolatey. But let's pop some in. To be fair, this actually I don't think is going to last that long because I don't use it very much, but there's not much in it. I mean, I'm partial to an options one, to be fair, so I don't really mind if I just have a normal hot chocolate again and not a bougie one. But I'll take bougie if it's there because hot chocolate is my weakness. I absolutely love it. I really do look like an extra in Greece. Got together like blah, 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 blah. Absolutely Remember forever like shuba 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 Keeping you entertained since 2020. I actually need to look back when my first YouTube video was posted. I put loads of them on private so that you guys can't find them. 
but they are there and I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks time reacting to my old YouTube videos so I'm gonna find like one a year from the past I think it's like six or seven years I'm gonna do one a year and react to the worst one I can find because I had some questionable eyebrows and questionable voices my voice changed a lot when I was younger apparently but on with the hot chocolate <laughs> Look at it, it's so cool. So like you can see the little chocolate bits floating around still. So you basically just have to keep going until this is all dissolved. And then it's super, super creamy. I kind of wish we had some whipped cream because I found in Waitrose they had lacto-free whipped cream and obviously I can't have normal, but yum. Well, we're hungry on our food shop this week. 